I'm Michelle from Legal Suite, and this is part one of the DocGen database for a township register or conventional development. Right, so I have captured my matter, it has been added to my list of matters, and now we need to capture details in the DocGen database. So in we go, and part one deals with the capturing of the general information with regards to the matter. And as I mentioned in the previous webinar with regards to capturing the matter, and as you can see from the screen, as it pops up, it is almost 100% completely populated. This is because I have set up uh, predefined defaults in various parts of the program, specifically here at the default screen. And if you need any assistance with this, please have a look um, at our webinar on how to set up your defaults. Okay, so my deeds office is Cape Town. Um, obviously, if you've set up a default and you need to use an, uh, a different deeds office, click on the drop down and you have access to all the various deeds offices um, around the country. Uh, your tracking number, your deeds office tracking number. Once you have your barcode number for this particular matter uh, to go off to the deeds office, you can pop it in here um, for tracking purposes. Now, obviously, if this is being registered in the Cape Town Deeds Office, um, my province is Western Cape. I am using a lodging agent. If you're not using a lodging agent, if you are within the uh, geographical uh, district of the, the Deeds Office, as defined in the Deeds Registries Act, um, you don't need to use a lodging agent. But if you are, as you can see, I have my Smith & Jones attorneys who attend to my lodgements on my behalf. Now, my notary, even though I don't need a notary for this particular um, type of matter, it's a conventional development with no notarial ties. This has come in from my default, but it won't appear anywhere um, on the documentation. I also have my commission of oaths and her designation, as well as my conveyancer with his name's surname and initials for prepping purposes. My documents will all be signed at Cape Town, or you can narrow it down to suburb Belleville, Claremont, um, wherever. Um, as is normal convention in a conveyancing matter, I don't know what date my documents are going to be signed. I can either um, come and fill this in after the fact, or I can have my client put pen to paper on the date of signing. My little practice is registered for VAT, so fees attract VAT at the current new rate of 15%. I have my appearer set up. I'm just going to scroll down so we can see the screen. So at Messrs. Smith & Jones, my lodging agents, these are the various bods who uh, may appear before uh, the registrar on the day of registration. As is normal convention, I leave my appearer blank, and whichever of these people appear on the day of registration um, will simply pop their little stamp in. Okay, so that's the general screen, and once you've completed this, you can then move on to the next tab.